When it comes to terrifying creatures of the deep, there's not much that can top the bone-chomping, human-chasing, bloodthirsty, swimming nightmare that we know as the shark, right? Well, as it turns out, you shouldn't believe the hype. Sharks might get a bad rep, but these fearsome fish are desperately misunderstood. While we tend to think of only the yawning maws of great whites, there are over 400 different species of sharks on Earth. There are even some sharks that prefer seaweed to raw lumps of flesh. Sharks are also extraordinarily helpful to our ecosystem, staving off climate change and keeping our coral reefs pristine. They also don't actually hunt people. In fact, the reverse is often true. Stick with us while we count down the 12 reasons why sharks are more friend than foe. Number 12. The media made sharks into monsters. Before we had the silver screen, we saw sharks as bigger, toothier dolphins. In fact, the Victorians even thought that they could be good omens, rushing up from the depths to bring excellent news to sailors. All of that changed in 1916, when four people died in a ferocious feeding frenzy off the coast of New Jersey. The tide had turned. Sharks were the undisputed villains of the high seas. Between real-life encounters of the great white kind and early movies that turned sharks into undersea assassins, people had a reason to be afraid of going into the ocean. This all came to a head in 1975 when Steven Spielberg's Jaws hit theaters. This epic thriller featured a larger-than-life great white shark with a taste for teenage blood. And it smashed box office records. Later on, Open Water, Deep Blue Sea, and The Meg would remind us that dipping a toe into the deep was rolling the dice with our lives. But as our number 11 fun fact points out, that's not really the case. Number 11. Not all sharks have huge, scary teeth. Despite the colossal chompers we know from the movies, not all sharks have jaws of death. Some of them even have tiny, or dare we say, cute teeth. Since there are over 400 types of sharks swimming in the Earth's oceans, it stands to reason that quite a few of them lack the spine-tingling jaws of the great white shark. For example, bull sharks have small teeth that can rip through small fish and squid, and whale sharks actually have tiny teeth on their eyes. These massive giants live predominantly in tropical waters and suck their food through a filter. Although whale sharks look intimidating, and their enormous jaws are enough to give even a seasoned diver the shivers, they are not aggressive. You can swim right up to the big beasts. Nobody knows why whale sharks have minuscule teeth on their eyes instead of in their huge mouths, but it just goes to show you that sharks are one of the most mysterious and unique creatures on the planet. Number 10. Shark encounters are very rare. A lot of people think that the second you drop your pinky toe into the ocean, a shark will come and bite it off. That really couldn't be farther from the truth. In fact, shark encounters are exceptionally rare, but like plane crashes, they get a ton of media airplay. Why? We are all terrified of sharks thanks to our silver screen conditioning. When shark encounters do occur, they are generally peaceful, with the curious fish swimming up for a peek or gliding alongside you in the water. Even if a shark attacks you, it's highly unlikely that you will die. In fact, you're vastly more likely to be killed by a whole host of seemingly ordinary things rather than a shark, as our number 9 pick illustrates. You're more likely to be killed by a dog than by a shark. What's scarier than one of the sea's most bloodthirsty predators? How about man's best friend? That's right, you have a 1 in 3,748,067 chance of getting killed by a shark versus a 1 in 112,400 chance of being mauled to death by a dog. But we never tell the sharks that they're good boys. Another thing that you're significantly more likely to die from include bee and wasp stings, governmental execution, tripping, falling, and being struck by lightning. There's an excellent chance that the flu or heart disease will cause you to shake off your mortal coil, even if you spend half of your life in the oceans. When it really comes down to it, sharks are one of the least deadly things on the planet. If this pick didn't convince you to give sharks another chance, check out our number 8 fascinating fact about sharks. Sharks have BFFs. We often think of sharks as solitary creatures. It goes along with the ruthless assassin stereotype. But actually, sharks are highly social animals who can form very complex relationships. There is even some evidence that they might have BFFFs, best fish friends forever. 
Weirdly enough, sharks love to hunt on their own, but return to their pack to dish about useful techniques, where the best fish are, and where they should settle down to spawn for that year. Shark breeding grounds aren't just full of random animals who happen to swim to that very spot and settle. To the contrary, it's widely speculated that sharks choose who and where they want to hang out with, a trait we often affiliate with friendlier animals and humans. Now that you've warmed up to sharks, check out our number seven pick. Sharks keep our oceans healthy. Sharks swim on the very top of the oceanic food pyramid, which makes them apex predators charged with determining exactly how much prey is beneath them. Since sharks usually feed on the next tier of animal, their populations stay well within control, making sure that smaller or weaker sea creatures get a chance to thrive. In a way, a shark's healthy appetite saves the lives of a lot of marine creatures. Not only does this extend to fragile living animals, but sea greenery as well. Sharks prey on giant turtles who eat seagrass, helping keep the sea turtle population at bay and preserving huge swatches of underwater seagrass. Smaller shellfish live in the seagrass, and the deep sea circle of life continues. Sharks might even be good stewards of one of the most critical underwater features, coral reefs, by protecting the tiny herbaceous fish that eat algae. Number six, sharks slow down climate change. Remember that seagrass we mentioned? Well, not only does it provide a cozy habitat for smaller shellfish, but it also sucks up a ton of undersea carbon. Less seagrass means more carbon bubbling up from the bottom of the sea and poisoning our atmosphere. Not only does the seagrass work wonders for ridding the water of nasty elements like carbon, sharks absorb a fair amount of it into their own bodies. Just like whales, sharks are carbon chomping machines. And without them, the world would be a much warmer and far less hospitable place. If all of this talk about sharks being environmental champions isn't enough to convince you that these burly beasts are useful, consider our number five fact. Number five, snorkelers are super safe. We know, it's always those folks who dare to bathe in the shallows after dusk that get scooped up by sharks. But snorkelers and swimmers are disproportionately less likely to get swallowed up by a great white. That's because snorkelers usually move reasonably slow and are easily identifiable as people. Sharks are far more likely to accidentally sink their teeth into surfers, whose glossy boards make them resemble seals. If you've been out snorkeling, especially in tropical waters, there's an excellent chance that a shark was nearby and you didn't even know it. Sharks generally don't want to engage with us. In fact, they're not homicidal maniacs. There are some that are downright gentle and like to feast on more than just flesh. Number four, there is one shark who loves its vegetables. The hammerhead shark is one of the oldest varieties of shark on the planet and equally mysterious. Its lesser known but equally enigmatic cousin is known as the bonnet head shark. And one of the strangest things about this prehistoric relic is its diet. Bonnethead sharks get a vast majority of their nutrients from sea vegetables. Although bonnethead sharks will consume the occasional mollusk or small fish, they delight in fixing themselves up a big undersea salad. You can find these omnivores swimming off the coast of Mexico. And although they might look scary, they're very docile. Our next pick flips a common myth on its head and explains why you should be more scared of the nicer sea creatures than misunderstood sharks. Number three. Dolphins sometimes bully sharks. Ah, uh, say it ain't so, Flipper. While dolphins are revered as the sweet dogs of the sea and even celebrated for their supposed tendencies to drag humans from the watery depths to the safe shores, they are some serious undersea bullies. Many sharks are afraid of dolphins, and they have a pretty good reason to be. Dolphins very often swim with sharks, and many times the two species get along, but sometimes there's trouble. Since sharks are lone hunters, they will often get ganged up on by pods of dolphins or even preyed on by larger dolphin species like orcas. Dolphins have a lot going for them, including their flexibility and dexterity under the water and their battering ram of a face. Dolphins have an exceptionally powerful snout that's made of dense bone, and one sharp jab can cause a host of internal injuries. Dolphins are also brilliant animals, ganging up on the dumber sharks with hunting prowess and lightning reflexes. Number two, sharks don't actually hunt humans. 
One of the biggest myths around the most frightening fish ever is that they have a gourmand's taste for human flesh. As the old stories go, once a shark gets its first gulp of blood, there's no going back. Although people occasionally die in shark attacks, sharks don't actively seek us out. In fact, sharks are particularly picky eaters who don't much care for our taste. We lack the softer bone structure of fish and aren't as blubbery as seals. When sharks attack humans, it's not to consume them, it's because they've made a mistake or simply gotten too curious. We're also far too bony for most sharks. The average human has 200 bones in their body, a chore to digest and not something that your average shark, even a great white shark, would want to tangle with. Our number one pick proves why sharks have a whole lot more to fear from us than we from them. Number one, humans are more of a threat to sharks than sharks are to us. We humans have decimated species of shark populations, slaughtering well over 100 million sharks every single year. Why? For the love of shark fin soup, a delicacy with a bloody origin story. Sharks are killed simply for their fins in many parts of the world, some tossed back into the ocean to drown. This cruel practice also leads to an underground shark meat trade, predominantly practiced in countries in tropical regions. Although shark poaching is illegal, it still happens with alarming regularity. As it turns out, sharks should have been making movies about bloodthirsty humans all these years. Have you ever encountered a shark? If so, share your story in the comments below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to What Lurks Below.